Welcome back to my coverage of 2024 Eurovision. We're up to Sweden, the home country. Look, usually the home country doesn't do very well with their songs, probably not to do with how bad they are, but, but more or less that maybe they're not putting as much of an effort in because it's too expensive to host the next year. Who knows? People do want two years in a row win though, unless you're Ireland in the 90s. But it's probably quite high in the odds because Sweden, right? Marcus and Martinez. Unforgettable. What's happening here? The staging is interesting. She comes in late at night. Okay. When I praise the sleep, make your eyes go blind. Now you're in too deep. Are they like 15? I'm feeling it's a bit cringe. I really am. It might be the whole two young male artists that kind of look the same and give a really tweeny kind of vibe. No older than 16 years old. Not that we're ripping on people who are young because it's it's totally fine. It's just, I don't know. Something's not sitting right. Musically, it's fine. They're great singers. It's got a great techno feel behind it. I think I need to look past... Look, they're talented. I'm not, I'm not going to say they're not talented. Actually, I hate the word talent. That's just another rant for another day. I'm not going to say they don't have a great aptitude towards music and ability in general. But we haven't gotten to the chorus yet, so let's just, let's just calm down, Mike. So we're at the pre-chorus. Good change. All right, okay, 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 okay. I think at the end of that chorus it worked, especially going back to that rhythmic theme with the synthesizer, a very syncopated theme after we have the tagline, she's unforgettable, and all the screaming girls in the audience. I like this, like... Kind of like agent, special agent look. Okay. Okay, it's growing on me, I've got to say. <laughs> the claps work really well. Now we're going to add something else. Yep. Okay, okay, yep. Alright, I retract what I said earlier. I retract it. I felt it was lame at the beginning, but no, it's not. This whole... It's just a very simple ascending... The first five notes of the scale in minor tonality. And it's going throughout the whole thing and it really penetrates your ears in a good way. Um, in very different kind of synthesized instruments, usually throughout the bottom or the lower bass ones bum, 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 bum. but then we're using it as a like a post kind of chorus when you hit that tag line as we said she's unforgettable bum, 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 and it just keeps going and going and it's good you know what i like it Let, let's just go back to past me and scold me for judging it too quickly these young kids They've got a dancing. 
it's meant to be given like a code special agent kind of thing, hey. Okay. Ah, uh, I see what they've done there. Is that it? Are you kidding me? How long was it? 2.59. So they've ended... Really? Oh, what a letdown. I'll tell you why. Because it felt like it was going into some cool... So at this point, we've got... By this point, we've got about 30 seconds left of music allowed. I thought they were going to develop this part. I thought that... I mean, why why bring that in? Maybe it came in earlier. I don't know. Um, so it's really based on this... Again, this ascending melody. If we take a look here. Those notes throughout. And we're even doing that in the vocal part here. And then going back down. So it's it's very kind of generic, but it's it's interesting how they're using it because not many songs nowadays are doing that. It just doesn't sound like a great coda or ending because they could have combined that maybe that came in earlier yeah, so it comes from here of course there's something missing and I'm trying to put my finger on it Who cut my internet? I'm just trying to pick up what's going on. Okay, why can't we have that ending? So they've got the she's unforgettable. You end it like that and then finish off with that. Sorry, I did that bad. Bum, bum. So, let's see if we can incorporate that in. Let's see if I can try and get a... Alright, it won't sound great because it's a piano sound. See what I mean? Obviously he started screaming because he's excited. Try it again. Because it played such a big part in this piece. Why not at least bring it back? I don't know, I feel like, I mean, that's personally, I feel like there's, there's just great kind of use of that theme. Why not just end it up there and it feels like it's become, come full circle. It's interesting, it's great, they've got good vocals, it's gonna be amazing on stage. The staging is great, I don't know. I think it's, it's an excellent song falls short at the end for that small reason. Maybe it could have been enhanced another way, but that's what I've picked up. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm always in the comments. Until next time.